If you're feeling stuck in life and not achieving your goals, in this video I'll teach you the exact framework I've used to achieve all of my personal and professional goals in the shortest amount of time possible and with the least amount of headaches. If you're new to the channel, my name is Carmen, I'm a self-development coach and I help people just like you improve their mindset, increase their income, create online businesses, and become the best version of themselves. In this video, I'll teach you the exact framework to do all of those things and achieve any kind of goal no matter what area of your life. I also have the Transformation Academy in the description if you wanna get self-development coaching and courses from me and and access to our private community. Now, the first thing I want you to do is to write down your goals. It's actually proven in studies that 42% of people that write down their goals are more likely to achieve them than people that don't. Now, if you don't write down your goals, you probably aren't gonna have any aspirations, anything to aim for, but simply writing them down holds you accountable and it gives you something to start aspiring towards. The act of writing actually clarifies your thoughts as well. So instead of just keeping it in your head, you actually have it physically on paper, maybe it's on your laptop or your phone. Just make sure to write down your goals and have something to aspire for in different areas. And you can also categorize them maybe for your career, health and fitness, relationships and networking, hobbies. Try to write down two or three big goals in each of these areas of your life. Something also to consider with your goals is setting SMART goals. This stands for specific, measurable, actionable, realistic, and time bound. So it's specific. You're not just saying, I wanna lose weight. You're saying, I wanna lose 20 pounds of weight. You're gonna make it measurable. So some kind of number or metric to actually measure the goal. And if you're progressing towards it, it's achievable, meaning that it's something you can actually work towards and get. It's maybe not too lofty to the point where you get demotivated or discouraged if you don't actually make progress towards it. It's realistic, so something that actually applies to your life and you know you can achieve, and it's time bound, meaning that you're putting some kind of window around it. So maybe it's 30 days, 60 days, whatever it might be. But just consider making your goals smart in that way. You can also consider creating a vision board. I like doing this actually right online on my computer. I have a Google Doc to set up with some different images and things about all the things I wanna achieve in my life. And I like checking in on it maybe like once a week and just kind of getting inspired by that. And then step number two is creating an action plan. So you have your goals in all these different areas of your life, but that isn't really gonna get you too far because you need an action plan to then achieve those goals. So for example, if one of your goals is to get more fit, lose weight, gain muscle, well, you can start saying things like, I'm gonna sign up for a gym membership, I'm gonna find a workout plan, I'm gonna find a diet plan I can stick to. So we're making a plan and actually a course of action we can start taking right away. So when you look at your goals, you're not thinking like, what do I do next? What's the next step? You have it all mapped out. The same thing goes for businesses, career. Map out all the next steps you need to take for your goals. That way you can actually take action right away. Number three is using a technique called time blocking. This is amazing for productivity and achieving your goals. And all the top people like Elon Musk and billionaires use this every single day. The idea is you're gonna take a calendar app like Google Calendar, that's what I use, it's time free ones. And then you'll set blocks of time for different things throughout the day and week. So for example, you might set a block of time for when you wake up in the morning, when you go to bed, when you're studying, when you're working, when you're working on your side hustle, when you're going to the gym, when you're doing meal prep, start mapping out all these different times and when you're doing things. And the beauty of this is it takes the thinking out of your routine and productivity. So instead of waking up every day and thinking like, what am I doing? What am I doing it? And kind of doing things last minute, you know down to the minute and the hour exactly what you're doing and when. And they can even add more details inside of your calendar, extra steps and information. And related to that, number four is using apps and software to help you out in achieving your goals. So I like using asana.com, it's completely free. There is a paid upgrade if you want, but I've been using the free version for years. And I use this both for my work, my business, my professional life and personal life in terms of organizing my projects, my tasks, everything I need to do. You can add details and information, deadlines, due dates. You can add in different assignees of other people. You can manage your projects here, different tasks. You can add in different deadlines and information. And it's a really good way to stay organized. But other tools too include Slack, Trello. And I recommend just trying to use one tool. What I used to do is I would juggle way too many softwares and apps. And the next you know you're jumping between all these platforms it actually does more harm than good. So maybe just choose Asana. Trello is also really good. Notion is very popular. Pick up one of these apps on your phone and your computer, start mapping out all the different things you need to do with your time blocking, and then you can actually start working towards them. Okay, number five is a really big one and something that's really important for me. That's joining a mastermind or having an accountability partner. So when you have somebody that holds you accountable, you're more likely to achieve your goals because you have someone to actually show your work to and your progress, and you don't wanna let them down. For example, me and my friends usually meet up about once a month, we have a mastermind, we all get together for dinner or we do it on Zoom, and we talk about our business, our goals, what we're up to, but we also talk about what we spoke about last time. So if you said you were starting a certain business, we're gonna ask you like, what's going on with that? What's the progress been? We're holding you. And when we meet up again, we're gonna ask about all the things we talked about in the previous meeting. So if you said you were to start that business, you bet we're gonna be asking you what's going on with that? What's the progress? Where are you at with that? and you're gonna hold yourself accountable by having other people hold you accountable. And when we do these masterminds, we talk about business, our goals, everything we're up to. We also discuss what we talked about in the previous meeting. So let's say, for example, you talked about a side hustle you wanna start. 
you bet that we're going to ask you where you're at with that business and what are you doing with it and what's the progress and we're going to hold each other accountable and again that pushes you to take action have more to show and it's a really beautiful way to grow with other people too because as i say if you want to go fast go alone if you want to go far go together and last but not least for achieving your goals is reviewing them on a weekly basis this is something i learned from the author david allen in his book getting things done if you haven't read that go buy it right now you need to get that book one of the best books on productivity and time management but one of the things Alan talks about in his book is the idea of doing a weekly review. So what I like to do, I go through my project management in Asana. I go through all my projects, my tasks, personal and professional. I clean things up, delete them, move them around. But I also get a nice overview of what I'm working on the next week, what I've done this week, how I'm progressing towards my goals. I clean things up. And then come Monday, because I usually do it on a Sunday evening, I can start the week completely fresh. I know exactly what I'm doing. I know what I achieved the previous week. And it just feels really good too, seeing all the progress and staying organized. So, and so again, if you're using Asana, Trello, Notion, once a week, it can be a Monday, it can be a weekend, just set like an hour aside or so to clean up all your work, organize everything, see what you did the previous week, and then plan out the next one. But these are some of the best ways I've personally found to achieve your professional and personal goals in the fastest way possible with the least amount of pain. You can use this system any way you want, tweak it, add different things. Let me know down in the comments if you have any questions about it. Also subscribe if you wanna learn more about self-improvement and entrepreneurship. Hope you're having a wonderful week and I'll catch you in the next video.